If you're looking to become a network engineer, then this might be a perfect video to get you started down that path. What's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. And in today's video, I am helping answer some questions about becoming a network engineer. We're gonna lay out what a network engineer is and then how you can get prepared to land a network engineer role in IT. In this video, we're gonna be referring to Cybrary's network engineer path. They have their Insider Pro track, which lays out this entire career path for you and with that you get access to all their courses for their network engineering path so it really guides you step by step on what you need to do what you need to take and the skills that are required and this video is sponsored by cyber so make sure you guys check out the link in the description below use the coupon code itcq50 to save 50 percent off of this premium membership access so you can get into the insider pro and go through their career path as well so it's really important to kind of define what a network engineer is and here are some of the responsibilities that you would see a network engineer could potentially have. You'll administer, maintain, develop computer networks and related computer areas such as hardware, system software, application software, and configurations. Protect the security of hardware, software, and data by establishing, coordinating, and implementing network security procedures. Perform data backups and disaster recovery operations when necessary. Order and replace defective or outdated hardware components when necessary. Monitor system performance in order to determine when adjustments are necessary. Troubleshoot any software, hardware, or other system network issues in order to diagnose and resolve the problem, work with the network users to solve any systems issues, and coordinate access and use of computer networks. So this is kind of a general overview of some of the responsibilities that you would find a network engineer could potentially have. Now it's important to note that every job location is different, every job description is different, and job titles in IT are very heavily skewed in many ways. So you may have a ton more responsibilities than this. You might find that you have to manage more servers than you anticipated being a network engineer. You may find that you don't have to manage any type of servers or any type of user accounts. It really depends on the business need for a network engineer and what they're requiring you to do. So it's really important to pay attention to job requirement details. Look into that job description and see what they're requiring because everything can vary heavily. And here's a brief summary of a day-to-day -day in a network engineer position. Review any down devices, trouble tickets, and network monitoring tools, work on any ongoing projects, including writing project plans, monitoring and documenting the progress of the project, communicating with other departments and upper management regarding the project, diagnose and resolve those network issues, and continually monitor ticketing system for new trouble tickets entered throughout the day. Monitor the network performance tools and investigate any issues. Review and perform scheduled maintenance on network systems as necessary. Review device configurations to ensure they are correct and up to date and up to standards as well. Administrative tasks like inventory and documentation as well. Again, brief kind of overview of a day-to-day -day for a network engineer. My good friend, Dwan Lightfoot, put out a video the other week about what a network engineer is. We're gonna link to that so you guys can kind of get more information on what being a network engineer is. Getting started in a typical path for a network engineer, there could be a lot of steps, but everyone's path is different. And that is the most important thing to note about this video or any other video that I put out where I'm kind of giving you guys the advice or suggestions on the different paths that you can take. Everybody's different. Some things work for people and some things don't, but a typical path that you would find to get into a network engineer position would be starting at your entry level type of roles. And then as you're kind of grasping what an entry level role in an IT enterprise is, you can then start to develop and learn the skills that it takes to become a junior network administrator and then get to that network engineering position. Again, it's important to note, everybody's path's different. You can go from an entry level all the way to network engineer. It really depends on the skills that you have, certifications, and really that overall experience that you've gained working in the field thus far. The path to network engineering has some foundations and that starts with the Network Plus, VMware certifications, Linux certifications, and of course, Cisco's CCNA. These are the foundational certifications that you would really need or really require to become a network engineer or any networking type of position in the IT field. These certifications here will greatly help you get to where you wanna be. So here's some of what is involved on the Insider Pro Track on Cybrary for the network engineer. These are the courses that you would take, the practice exams that you would take, the labs that you'll take. There's definitely a lot involved here, but these are some of the foundational skills that you guys will need and you'll definitely learn 
by going through this network engineering path. If you guys look in the link provided below, you're gonna see that you can go through this 10 hours a week in three months and be completely done with this, which is phenomenal. So make sure you guys check that out. So what's the availability of network engineer positions? Well, there are a lot of network engineering positions available, as you can see. If you go on indeed.com and do a search for network engineer, you guys are gonna see that there are over 57,000 jobs available for network engineers. So if you are wondering, is this a path that you wanna go down? Is there going to be room for you? I mean, this clearly shows there's definitely some availability for you guys who are looking to go down this path. Show me the money. I can't really do a good Jerry Maguire uh, impersonation here, but salary ranges can vary very heavily based on a few things here, like your location, so where you're at in the world. Different areas will pay more money. If you're in a higher populated area, you may find that some network engineer positions pay a lot more money than a network engineer position in a rural area. So there's definitely a lot of variety here. The other thing is some businesses will put more value into a network engineer and they may pay you more. Some, they may not, so you might make less. It really depends on what that business need is and how much weight they really put into that position. And lastly here, your experience and your certifications will definitely play a big role in how much money you're making. If you have a couple years of experience working in IT, working in a junior networking position, as you move into a network engineer position, utilizing that experience can definitely help get you more money. And on Cyberry, they have this listed here, network engineering estimated salary, 38,000 to 99,000, and that's from payscale.com. So again, there's, there's a large variety there. And again, that weighs very heavily on these factors that we've listed. And to be quite honest with you, I know network engineers who make well into the six figures. So that scale right there is a little bit off in my opinion, but when you guys are looking for network engineer positions, make sure you pay attention uh, to the area that it's in and how large that business is that you're applying for because that will have some weight into what that salary is. So what are you guys waiting for? Start your journey. Go over and join cyberay.it. Link is in the description below. You can go through the entire network engineer path in three months. So if this is the path that you're looking to take, I welcome you on your journey. I encourage you in your journey and good luck to you. Use the coupon code ITCQ50, save 50% off your premium membership over there at Cyberry to get access to the Insider Pro Track, and good luck. That's all I got for you guys in today's video. As always, take it easy.